Hello everybody, this is Xenocat82543, welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And in this part, we are going to try to get back to a certain room. Which room is it? It was, yeah, it was this one to the south. We're going to go back to the room to the south. try to get another treasure that was there. That we can only get now because we have the Dominion Rod. And we, well, we can only get now that we have the Dominion Rod. Forward, down. Yes, I remember this. Yes, good, we're going down. I'm not going to mess with the statue right now because if we leave the room well, then the statue will return to its starting point. So no point in grabbing the statue. Okay, turn to head back up to this floor. Doing this puzzle again. Because We have a Dominion Rod puzzle to do in here. And I don't remember these guys being here before. That, those guys. And now the interesting puzzle begins. We've got to throw one of those into fail. Then basically run down the stairs and guide it onto the switch. There's already one on the other side, so don't worry about that. And for right click pressing both the switches with the pots, we get a treasure! which is going to be the other piece of heart that this dungeon has. So we might as well pick it up, because I am picking up all of them. It'll help us in the future. It'll, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more health, I guess, theoretically. It's a part of more health. Anyway, what we actually need to do is go up another floor. Because that's where the statue is. Okay, there we go. 
Now let's <laughs> take the statue down. I'm gonna go down one floor, destroy the weird spinny things, just so I can get my vengeance on them, because I hate them. There. Good riddance, spinny things. No, forward and down. There. And we're gonna have more of statue battling on this floor as well. You just have to defeat all of them to open up the gate, open this little thing. What we're gonna do out here is, we have the statue now, so we can pull up that thing. Crap. do that, which frees the Poe. And we're gonna have to, and now we can put this guy away. <laughs> Goodbye, statue. I just want to get rid of you. So now I can focus on the Poe. We'll form. this Poe out of the way, finally. You can also open the gate by using your Dominion Rod to move one of the pots onto the switch underneath the Poe, but that's boring. So now let's head back down towards the, per towards the bottom. The statue has emerged right in this room, of course. Go away, bat. No. We can clock out over this gate, so we don't actually have to do anything difficult there. There's our statue. Let's get you out. So we can get rid of that guy. Get rid of that gate. He's not gonna be so good against the keys, so don't worry about them. Take him down the stairs. He like falls down the stairs really fast, but he goes a little bit slower in other circumstances under other circumstances, so. Also he can't go back upstairs.
don't need stay. I don't need any of that switches. I believe. Oh no. We reached the end of the room. Let's just put him back. Send him further through the temple. And we've arrived back in the first room. And he appears right in the middle there. How convenient. You do have to take him around the side because he can't climb stairs. But... It was fun traveling through the temple with the statue, but we're gonna have to put him away. Sadly. Goodbye, statue. At least his final act was to open the way forward for us. Yeah, all that just to get through that a little bit. And now we have long, narrow hallway. But we have one last room before the boss. This is like the Indiana Jones room. puzzle. And that was it. You solved the puzzle. Just a little puzzle there. A couple of these guys waiting for us at the boss door. Not really a big deal. Make sure you refill on arrows. Fairy, you are useless. Are you? Rare true jelly, blue true jelly, fairy's tears, and another fairy. Yeah, I don't need you. You can't even heal me. You're literally useless. Okay. Let's fight the boss. The boss should be pretty quick, so I can fit it into this video. And yeah, the temple's already being wrapped up. Just three videos. Because I made the first video extra long, and the second video is kind of long. And this video might be short, but we're going to do a little bit of stuff after the temple. Not a lot. Like a tiny bit. But we have a boss. Soon. I mean, that does look like a cool statue. Oh, wait. There's our boss. It's a giant spider. Yeah, don't play this game. Armagoma. Don't play this game if you don't like. Yeah, basically that's what you have to do. It won't hurt you when you're on the ground. Use arrows. Just make sure you use arrows and use... ...your dominion rod. Oh yeah, he'll do this. These guys are jerks. There's no way you're gonna ignore these guys. Just try to kill them off as fast as possible. And yeah, you can still, you can lock on to these things if it makes it easier. 
I'm pretty sure he just can't hurt you when he's on the ground like that. Is he just gonna... No, he's doing the poopy thing. Yeah! Got him! It's pretty simple, you don't even need the sword for this. Well, except for killing those guys in the middle, but you just hit him with the with that thing. Keep that in there. What? What's happening? Oh. It's... It's still alive? Basically, don't get near it. Shoot it three times, and you'll get teleported right next to it. All the other guys will die automatically, and it'll explode. That's all you have to do. I like how there's like a little fake ending. There's like a little second phase. They make so it is technically a two-phase boss, but the second phase is kind of a joke. But uh, at least they didn't stop the two-phase, even if it was a pretty easy boss. Probably one of the easier bosses in the game. Or even the easiest. Yeah. That guy was easy. Okay, fine. And then this will even let us out. But I want that heart container because more health is good. Heart container! We now have 16 hearts. Yeah, let's leave. I'm gonna do a little bit, a few things in like the open, this will take us back to like the open entrance hall. I'm gonna do a few things in that entrance hall area, which isn't part of the temple technically, which is why I waited till now to do it. Yes, we're gonna save. Yay. Yeah, it'll just take you back out here. This area, which is technically part of the sacred grove, but it's really the temple of time. Like the part that's not the actual temple, like the temple part, just the normal temple, just the normal part. The equivalent of the sacred grove. Because we can do a couple things in here now. One, and for one, we can move this. We can move these statues. If we do that, we can find this treasure chest, which in the future, w which when we found it earlier was a kind of beat up and broken down, but we have a piece of heart in there. Just thought I'd pick that up. And on the other side is something else that's very useful. Not, you can't take them any these things anywhere. I'd stay away from it because other this guy will come out pretty quickly and hit you with your face. Yes, it is another Poe. Took him out of the wall. That's all I really wanted to do in here. So yeah, next time we'll head out of here and on our way. We'll head through the door and leave the temple and leave the past behind us. Now that we've gotten everything that we needed to out of it. <laughs> See you then.